This is question number seven. The table shows the coordinates of three points contained in the graph of a line. What is the slope of the line? Now, there's a couple ways we can go about doing this. One is just to graph it and then like do a nice little thing where we count. Obviously, that's the worst drawn graph ever, but it is what it is. So I'm going to do negative one and one, so that would be right here. Then I'm going to do 0 and 3, so it goes up. And then I'm going to do 1 and 5, so x is 1, y is 5. If you forget, x is here, and the y-axis makes like a y if you put the little top on it. If you try to put it on the side, it doesn't work. It makes it look like some sort of weird drawing of an arrow or something. So that wouldn't be it. So I'm going to connect those dots together. La la la. And it would go on down this way too. Now to go, uh, when I do slope, I need to think about how much it goes up and then over. If uh, the slope is represented by M in math, and so does Mario, like Super Mario. If you played old school Super Mario, you know that at the end, uh, at a lot of points, you have to kind of jump over boxes. But if you keep trying to run into them and then push the button to jump, it doesn't work because you have to go up before it goes over. Eventually I have some video up about that. But the idea is I need to do rise over run, or I just have to make sure that when I talk about slope, I talk about how much it goes up versus how much it goes over. So in this case, I can just count. I go up one, two, so that would be plus two. And then I go over one. So I just do the division, two divided by one is two. So the answer for slope here is just two. If you can remember to do it quickly, you don't even have to draw the graph. If you can remember that x is which how much you go over, and then y is how much you go up or down. Starting at the first point for x, I'm going over 1, so it's plus 1 over. And again, plus 1. If it was different, this would be a whole other thing. Um, on the y, I go 1 plus 2 gives me 3, and 3 plus 2 gives me 5. So all I have to do is take this 2, divide by this 1, 2 divided by 1 equals 2. So my answer to number 7 is D.